How's it going, everyone? It's it's Ben Simmons Day, isn't it? Yeah, a few weeks ago now, I made a video kind of talking about I'm done covering this guy. If he gets traded or shit goes down, I'll do it again. But that's what's happening today. He's not traded yet. I'd give it over under of like three days. But today, he's pulling the all-time Jimmy Butler. Wolves fans, do we remember the Jimmy Butler experience? Let's recap, right? Jimmy hates the offseason or whatever. He goes, hey, Cat and uh, Cat and D'Lo or Cat and Wiggins, they don't want to win. I went out here. Thibodeau says no. He says, if we're going to trade you, we're going to get a big package back. That doesn't happen. They eventually trade him for Robert Covington and Dario Saric. Not great. What happens this year with Ben Simmons, right? Bad playoffs. Everyone shits on him. Now he's like, wait, I want to get traded. And the Sixers, well, the Sixers were like, we want to trade him. And Ben was like, I want to get traded. Then they didn't trade him. He shows back up to the team, which was weird, but he, I guess you gotta make your money, right? Shows back up to the team, and today, on day one of the NBA season, gets kicked out of practice for just not engaging whatsoever, which is beautiful. It's funny, I mean, even if the Wolves don't get him, this is funny just in how it's going down, and also the, the disparity between how it's being covered from when the Wolves-Butler situation was going on to the Sixers-Simmons situation. The Wolves were painted as the bad guys, like the team. And sure, they had two. It was a whole different team. But anyways, it was like, Towns, Wiggins, suck. These guys are the worst. Everyone else is horrible. Butler's the good guy. Get him out of there. Save Jimmy Butler. Now it's just like, oh, I mean, of course, it's different situations. But, you know, everyone's on the Sixers side here. Anyways, we can go through some Woj tweets just to kind of get the rundown. Then I'll talk about what it means for the Timberwolves, huh? All right, where are we at? So, early on, 76ers say Simmons has been suspended for a game for detrimental conduct. And I was like, alright, weird. Then, <laughs> revealed Doc Rivers actually threw Simmons out of practice. Alright? Because si Simmons was reluctant to physically and mentally engage with the Sixers. And it's been a constant theme since his return. He was tossed early in practice, essentially for a refusal to participate. Uh, and Joel Embiid say, basically said he doesn't care about him anymore and is not going to babysit him. Uh, ben Simmons would decline to sub into a drill. Apparently it was, Doc Rivers was like, hey Ben, come do this defensive drill. And he was like, no. And then Doc was like, yes. And then Simmons was like, no. And then Doc was like, okay, leave. So Simmons left. And that's where we're sitting right now. So, Timberwolves fans, what does this mean for us? Well... If you're a big Simmons, if you're a big trade for Simmons proponent, this is big news for you. My stance on this for a while now has been: if they trade for him, cool. If they don't trade for him, also cool. Like I've kind of just gone, you know, it is what it is. If it happens, if it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It would make the, it would take the Wolves from being a 41 like win team maximum to being like a <laughs> number four seed. It would take them to the peak of their Jimmy Butler time, honestly. Towns, Wiggins, I keep saying Wiggins, Towns, Edwards, Russell, Simmons, that's good, that's really good, but is it going to happen? I don't know, it's been going on for so damn long. Anyways, what does it mean for the package the Wolves would have to give up? It obviously lowers the price tag. Teams aren't going to be giving up stars, there's no Dame Lillard, there's no Bradley Beal. The Wolves, Malik Beasley is the starting point, okay, we'll give you Beasley. Then they say, okay, we also want Ant Edwards. Then the Wolves say no, obviously, and maybe throw in McDaniels and like Torian Prince to make the money work. So minimum, I think the deal right now has been lowered to maybe like best case scenario, Wolves would be giving up Beasley and Torian Prince and like a first round pick or two. Do you do that? Maybe I'd do that just because screw it, let's go win. But if they don't do it, I won't be mad because I don't know. It's been going on for too long, man. Simmons. Are you concerned about his diva personality, potentially? Just his reluctance to care? I'm not. I think if he gets to a different team, he wouldn't really care that much. So, I'm cool with it. But yeah, that's basically the rundown. Uh, phew, yeah. Things are not going well for the Sixers. You hate to see it. But anyways, uh, season begins tomorrow for the Timberwolves with their current roster. No Ben Simmons. As of right now, you know, maybe later. But... Yeah, that's what's going on. I'll be uploading clips from a hour and 20 long season preview podcast. If you want to just listen to the whole podcast, you can find that anywhere you listen to podcasts, mainly Apple Podcasts. But yeah, clips are up from yesterday. You can go find two of those and there'll be more today and tomorrow before game time. 
And remember, after tomorrow's game, likely going to be going live right away on here. All right. Peace. Simmons time. I don't know what to make of any of this.